All right, so first, we need to give this, we need to find the derivative. So this is going to be quotient rule. So that's the first derivative using quotient rule. Do you agree? Do you see anything we could do that would make this a little bit cleaner or nicer? So at the end of the day, we're left with f prime of x is equal to negative 14x over x squared plus t squared. We need to find the critical points. The critical points will be, where is f prime of x equal zero? And where is f prime of x not this? So these are the two questions we need to answer about this function, f prime of x. So where does f prime of x equal zero? Well, we need to think about when can a fraction be equal to zero? If I just have a fraction, a ratio of two things, if I have a over b equal to zero, and I told you, hey, this is equal to zero, what would you, what would you know? A has to be zero, right? I'm dividing A things into B pieces and I got zero. If I divide one thing into 10 pieces and I say, all right, your portion is zero, you're gonna say I got ripped off. So this can only happen if A is equal to zero. And simultaneously, B is not equal to zero because otherwise this whole thing is undefined. So if you're looking at a ratio and you know that it's equal to zero, or you're trying to see where it's equal to zero. So what I need to do here is just solve the numerator equal to zero. And my numerator is negative 14x. So I divide both sides by negative 14, and I get 0 divided by negative 14, which is equal to 0. Now, where does f prime of x not exist? The only way this can happen is if the denominator is 0 because this is not something where we're gonna to have to deal with like a jagged corner from a piecewise function. So where does f prime of x not exist? Well, what we need to worry about for f prime of x not existing is the denominator being zero. The denominator here is x squared plus two squared. So we take the square root of both sides and ordinarily we would have plus or minus, but since it's zero, it's plus or minus zero, so who cares? And I get x squared plus two is equal to, then I solve this. I can uh, isolate the x here to get x squared equals negative two by subtracting two from both sides and take the square root of both sides again. And I get x equals plus or minus square root of negative two. Now that's an answer, but it's not an answer we're gonna worry about because it's a square root of a negative number. Square roots of negative numbers for our purposes, we don't, we don't care. So even though we had to investigate that because it could possibly be the case that there was a place where this happened, in this particular instance, there weren't any. So that's the place of finding the critical points. 